In this video, I'm going to share with you how to unlock Amazon on-site commissions on your Amazon influencer storefront. I'll go over what Amazon on-site commissions are, how to sign up for on-site commissions, some video content guidelines, breaking down what makes a good video to unlock your on-site commissions and some additional do's and don'ts when creating your videos. I also give you a basic outline of how to create a great product review video to give you the best chance of unlocking on-site commissions. So keep on watching. In case you're new here, I'm Sarah. I help content creators, brands, and entrepreneurs create their digital influence by sharing different creation tips, tech tools, and gadgets to help you create your influence and workflows with ease. Having said that, let's get into this video. For all my other Amazon influencer videos, you can check out the entire playlist, which I'll link in the description below. What is Amazon on-site video commissions? Amazon on-site video commissions refers to a program where Amazon pays commissions to Amazon influencers for promoting products through video content that's then hosted on Amazon's platform, which they create via their Amazon influencer storefront page. Amazon influencers can create videos showcasing products available on Amazon and include affiliate links in the video description. Now, while these videos will pop up on an Amazon influencer's storefront, they also have the opportunity to potentially appear in other parts of Amazon, such as product review pages, related videos, Amazon's homepage, and much more. So instead of you pushing traffic to your storefront and videos, Amazon will instead push your video out to a wider audience as they search and browse Amazon, which from there, customers will be able to click on your content slash review and make a qualifying purchase. Another way to explain on-site earnings is what you would earn if someone was already browsing on Amazon, sees your photo or video and purchases that thing. As you didn't directly drive that customer to Amazon to shop, you influence them to purchase once they were already on Amazon. So therefore Amazon will compensate you for that purchase, but at an on-site rate. The way to know whether or not customers are making purchases through your on-site videos is by tracking your earnings via your on Am store ID within your associate central account. This is your ID to track your on-site earnings, also known as on-site store ID. This on-site store ID was created by Amazon on your behalf to ensure that you are compensated when your content helps customers that encounter your content on Amazon and make that qualifying purchase. By unlocking on-site commissions, it becomes a great opportunity to expand your brand and build your following, as well as generate more affiliate sales than you would just by pushing out your affiliate links and your storefront links by yourself. How to sign up for on-site commissions. Unlocking Amazon on-site commissions is reserved for those who are part of the Amazon Influencer Program, which if you wanna learn more about how to become an Amazon influencer, I'll leave a link in the description below to an entire playlist about that. But in order to become an Amazon influencer, you will need to sign up with an active social media platform and just make sure that you have enough engagement on that platform in order to get approved. Once you become an Amazon influencer, you're automatically assigned an on-site store ID, which tracks your earnings in connection with the use of your content on Amazon. This is separate from your associate store ID, which is used to track the links that you drive to Amazon. How to upload videos for Amazon on-site commissions. In order to get approved for on-site commissions, you will need to upload and submit at least three videos talking about three different products and then tag them appropriately in the video. Once you have uploaded your three videos, you will need to wait to get approved from Amazon. To do this, you will simply sign into your Amazon Influencer account and go to your storefront, click content, and then you'll add a video from there and upload and tag your product as well. Amazon assesses every video that you upload. So you're required to upload a minimum of three videos, but if you upload more than three, Amazon will assess those as well. You'll wanna make sure that you get these videos right at least the first or second time. Now, this is because Amazon only gives you three chances to submit videos to be reviewed and see whether or not you're able to unlock these on-site commissions. But don't worry if you get denied the first time because this happens to a lot of people. But should this happen, just simply delete all your videos and upload three new ones that fall under the video content guidelines. It usually takes about a week to get approved, sometimes more. Amazon honestly is one of those sites that is pretty inconsistent with approval time, so it just might take a little bit of patience on your end. On-site Amazon Commission Video Content Guidelines. It's highly recommended to look over the Amazon Commission Video Content Guidelines prior to creating any videos. Now, this is to ensure that you are within Amazon's guidelines and have a better chance of getting approved on the first go round. Amazon's content guidelines may be modified from time to time, so just always be sure to check these periodically. Some content guidelines worth mentioning include one, do not include any web links, URLs, or call to actions that ask viewers to take action on other sites. For example, go to xyz.com to learn more. Like any platform, Amazon wants to keep customers on their site and shopping. 
two, make sure to only tag products that are clearly featured in your video. It can be really confusing for customers to see products that are not relevant or discussed in the video, and your video will be rejected if the products do not match the content in the video. Three, do not include any prices, promotion information, discount claims, or time-sensitive information because pricing can always change. Four, do not disclose private information such as phone numbers or email addresses or ask viewers to do so as well. Five, do not feature any Amazon logos and service names in your videos as this is to protect Amazon's intellectual property. Six, do not use defamatory or derogatory language. For example, product X is much better than product Y, which is a piece of junk. Now, I think we can all understand why this one's unacceptable. This list is definitely not exhaustive here. Therefore, again, it's just definitely best to check the guidelines every so often on Amazon's website. What makes a good Amazon on-site commissions video? Amazon really doesn't specify what makes a great review video. However, this is where you need to think like a customer and ask yourself, if I'm shopping on Amazon, trying to learn more about a product that I want to buy, what would I want to know? So your video should be able to answer that for a customer. There is no time limit to how long your videos should be, but I suggest 60 seconds to two minutes is a good sweet spot. And based on the videos that I've seen and most review videos that I've seen tend to be shot horizontally. You can show your face or keep your video faceless. It's a really personal preference as to whether you want your face to be seen or not. So here's a quick script that you can follow and adapt to your liking. You can say, this is a review of X. I purchased this item because I like to use this for some of the features are my experience with this so far has been my final thoughts are, or I really recommend this product for anybody who pretty simple. So let's just use my standing desk as an example. It's not perfect, but here we go. So this is a review of X standing desk. I purchased this item because I was looking for a more versatile desk that I could use while working from home. I like to use this for working on my computer, whether I'm sitting or standing. Some of the features are you can increase the height to X number of inches off the ground, and you can also program your different heights with a press of a button. My experience with this so far has been super good. I love having the flexibility to sit or stand during long periods of computer work. I highly recommend this for anyone who needs to have the flexibility between sitting and standing while working at a desk space. And then I'd only tag that product that I'm featuring. Now, one important tip is to have very good audio. The lighting doesn't have to be super perfect. However, the audio is what people are really needing to hear in order to know why they need to buy this product. Here's just another bonus example of an actual video that I did. So let's check that one out. This is a review of the Air Doctor AD2000 4-in-1 air purifier. I purchased this item because I've started to realize how important it is to filter your air inside of your home. I love this particular size as it filters small to medium-sized bedrooms, which is exactly what I was looking for. It has a three-stage filtration, which is able to capture the smallest of particles flying around in the room, and the auto mode is super quiet and will auto adjust its level of filtration based on the air quality in your living space. It also has a dim feature, so the lights on the filter don't bother you at night. And I usually keep it running all day, every day on auto, so I don't even have to think about it. My experience with the Air Doctor AD2000 so far has been really positive. I love knowing that the air quality in my room is great, and I really recommend this product for anyone who is looking to upgrade their rooms with cleaner air. Additional do's and don'ts. Now, a couple of additional do's and don'ts that I've seen other creators mention is to not have any copy Copyrighted music. If you're repurposing content from other platforms, you need to be mindful of the music as Amazon may not have the same rights to the music as other online platforms. It's also important to avoid using words like dupe, faux and fake. And another don't is not to have logos from outside social networks. So again, if you're repurposing content, just be sure all your watermarks are taken off of your videos prior to uploading them to Amazon. Additionally, you do not want to record screen shares of the product on the Amazon website itself. You want to make sure that you show how the product works either by having it in your hands or showing a demonstration of how it works. And another last tip is to not review just anything and everything. You really wanna be strategic by starting with things with the most value so you can make the most commissions. Examples of higher commission products could include things like equipment, office furniture, and technology like cameras and camera equipment. So there you have it, how to unlock Amazon on-site commissions. If you're interested in learning more about the Amazon Influencer Program, I've left the link to my playlist below or if you wanna see what an Amazon influencer storefront looks like, I've also left a link to that in the description below for you. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a creator, brand, or entrepreneur with whom you think this would really help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.